When your stomach hurts, what is your body telling you? Do you have a stomach ache? Medically, this is called epigastric pain. In other words, it refers to cramps above your belly button and below your bust. Specialists don't consider this a serious problem. However, millions of people every year come into to their doctor's office with this complaint. To begin with, you should get to know your body and the signals it sends you, because there are many reasons you may be having stomach issues. Don't forget that your body absorbs everything around it, both the physical and emotional. So when your stomach hurts, what is your body trying to tell you? Possible causes of stomach pain. Food allergies. Some foods often cause problems after being eaten, whether right away or after a few hours. Lactose and gluten are two examples. In these cases, the pain will stay for a long time every time you eat the food. You should identify what the food is so you can stop consuming it or find an alternative. Stress or anger. The way your body reacts to certain emotions, like rage, anger, or stress, will inevitably cause abdominal pain. Your nervous system and digestive system are affected by your emotions. Thus, your body enters into a state of stress, causing diarrhea and inflammation in the intestines. Overeating junk food. Too much junk food, fatty foods, soft drinks, too much spicy food, triggers stomach pain, especially on the left side. The pain will remain until the food is digested. If it takes too long, it may cause nausea and possibly vomiting. Indigestion. In medical terms, indigestion is known as dyspepsia. In this case the pain is located in the middle part of your stomach. It comes along with heartburn and gas, and happens during or after eating. An estimated 5 to 11 of people get indigestion after drinking too much or eating too fast or in excess. Menstruation. Premenstrual syndrome is a group of physical and hormonal symptoms that affect a woman's body. Generally, the pain is in the lower back. While the large percentage of people feel it in their stomach. It may continue until the end of your period. Therefore, it's advisable to stay active, eat healthy, and sleep enough. Stomach infection. How can you tell if you have an infection? It may be caused by a parasite, bacteria, or virus found in food. The symptoms depend on the kind of bacteria.
They may include a burning sensation, pain, fatigue, lack of appetite, and even fever. There are natural ways to counteract the condition, but it's important to see a doctor if the pain persists. Constipation A rushed, busy lifestyle that puts your body through too much stress, and a diet low in fiber and fluids can cause constipation. The answer is to shake up your sedentary lifestyle by getting active and adding grains, vegetables, and at least 8 glasses of water a day to your routine. If the problem doesn't go away, a doctor can prescribe laxatives. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. This condition is caused by changes in your stomach acids or reversal in direction. As they move from your stomach to your esophagus, they cause burning and sharp pain in your stomach and throat. How is it treated? For mild cases, a change in your diet is all that's needed. Avoid fatty foods, chocolate, spicy food, and coffee, make your dinners light, and consume a lot of fiber. Side effects of medication It's very important to know the side effects of the medication you're taking, since many of them cause abdominal pain. They may affect your esophagus and cause inflammation. Excess acid in your digestive tract wears down the inner lining of your stomach, leading to pain and even stomach ulcers with high doses. Therefore, it's essential to pay attention to the warning signs your body is sending you. There are countless reasons why your stomach hurts, and they range from a passing problem to serious ulcers. Note, some conditions can be helped with natural remedies or antibiotics, while others require surgical intervention. If you feel an odd pain, don't wait. See a doctor.